Are you finding it hard to rush in clash code, custom rooms or battle royal matches? Are you sick of getting knocked down by players when trying to rush? And do you want to know the secret strategies, tips and tricks that pro players use to rush? Well, you clicked on the right video. Because in this video, I'm gonna cover topics such as how to rush and how to create a rush plan, when to rush and when not to rush, mistakes that players do when rushing and the best characters and the guns to use when rushing in free fire. But before that, first let's see what is meant by rushing in free fire. What rushing in free fire basically means is when you or your squad are going into an enemy's territory and eliminating them out. But before we learn how to rush, first we need to know when to rush and when not to rush. Before rushing, first you need to see whether you have the necessary things such as enough glue holes, enough HP, helmets, vests, med kits, permanent or temporary covers and etc. One of the biggest mistakes that players do when rushing is that they don't make a plan before rushing. Making a plan before rushing is very important. If you are playing a solo match, you'll need to create your own plan on how to rush. But if you are playing your squad the team leader will have to create the plan on how to rush well now you guys might ask me chance how can i create a plan on how to rush well when creating your rushing plan try to find the safest route you or your squad could take to get into the enemy's territory if you just rush straight into the enemy there's a higher chance that your enemy could easily take you down with headshots plus it will be easy to notice you and your squad if you're rushing straight into the enemy in an open ground as you all know it's always better to do a surprise attack on the enemy this way the enemy won't have enough time to plan on how to defend so instead of rushing straight into the enemy, you or your squad could take a different route or routes to get into the enemy's territory. I'll get more into the rushing plan when I get to the topic of how to rush. Now when you are playing with your squad, first you need to appoint a leader. If you have already appointed one, the leader will have to create the plans and give instructions to the other teammates on how and where to rush. The other teammates can get different roles according to their skills such as rusher, sniper, flanker, medic, helper, grenade expert and etc. Now team coordination is also very important when rushing. If you and your teammates don't talk to each other in the match, it will be very hard to create a good rushing plan. So always try to talk with your teammates and follow the leader's instructions. Now before rushing, you'll need to know what are the best guns and characters to use when rushing. When talking about rushing, most of the time the rusher or the rushers will have to have good close range guns such as SMGs and shotguns. If you carry the wrong set of guns, the enemy side could have a better advantage in the fight. So when choosing the guns for rushing, try to choose the guns that have a high rate of fire and can do decent amounts of damage. For SMGs, the best guns that I recommend are the MP40, the MP5, Double Vector and the UMP. For shotguns, the best guns that I recommend are the M1887 and the Mag7. Now let's see what are the best characters to use when rushing. Number 1. Skylar. Skylar can unleash a supersonic wave that can damage up to 5 glue walls within 100 meters. Also, each glue wall deployed will result in increasing HP recovery beginning from 9 points. These two skills can be very important for rushers, so I highly recommend at least one of your squad mates to use Skylar. If multiple teammates have the Skylar character, make sure that you all don't use the skill at once. That's because if all of you use the Skylar character at once to break the enemy's glue wall, the enemy could place another glue wall. But you and your teammates will have to wait for Skylar skill to reset. So as I said earlier, make sure that you have a good team coordination. The next active character that I would recommend is Wukong. This character can be very useful for those who do solo rushing because Wukong's skill can get refreshed as soon as you knock down an enemy. The next character that I would recommend is the Hayato character. That's because with every 10% decrease in maximum HP, armor penetration increases by 10%. Tracking can play a very important part when rushing down an enemy. That's because if you know the enemy's location, it will be easy to plan and attack that enemy. So I highly recommend at least one of your teammates to use the Moku character. Movement speed also plays a huge role when rushing, so I recommend that you guys use the Kelly character because Kelly's skill increases the movement speed by 6%. Two other characters that I would recommend are Jota and Lucata. Now let's get to the topic of how to rush. Let's take this situation as an example. The enemy squad that you want to rush are camping in this house. There are three routes that you and your squad could take to reach the enemy's house. Route A, Route B and Route C. But as I said earlier, you need to choose the safest route to reach the enemy. If we go through Route A, first check whether there are any permanent covers. In this case, we can see there are three permanent covers. But to get to them safely, you'll have to place several glue walls. But even when you get to the cover, you'll still have to place more glue walls to get to the house. If we just rush straight into the house, the enemy could easily headshot us because we are going down a slope. If we take Route A, the chance of getting noticed by the enemy is also very high. Now let's say we took route B. The chance of getting noticed by the enemy is a bit low. This part of route B can be very useful for sniper players. The leader can instruct the sniper to attack enemies and weaken them from this side. But still the other teammates will have to get to the house. Now once the others come to this point, they'll either have to go straight into the house or else they will have to take the curved path. Taking the curved path can be risky because you can get easily noticed by the enemy. You will also have to place a lot of glue walls to get there. Let's say we took the curved path. When 
we get to this point, we'll still have to use several glue walls to get to the house. Since you have to climb up the slope, the enemy could be able to easily headshot you. Now let's say we jump route C. If we take this path, there's a very low chance of getting noticed by the enemy. Once we come to this point, the leader can tell the sniper to attack from route B and distract the enemy while the other teammates get to the house using route C. You can also get a huge advantage from this slope because you can easily get to the house without putting much glue walls. So in my opinion, I think route C is the safest road. Now let's say we got to the house. But the question is, how do we rush into the house? There are many strategies that you can use to rush into houses. I won't be able to explain all the house strategies in this video. So if you want a video on the different house strategies, make sure to comment that down below. For this video, I'll give you guys a few house strategies that you could use to rush into this house. Strategy number one. Before using any of the strategies, make sure to check whether the enemy has placed any landmines. Next, place a glue wall on this position to block the enemy. You can use this in normal classic and rank matches, but I don't think that they allow you to do this trick in tournaments. So make sure to check the rules if you are playing a tournament. Now if you are playing a normal classic or rank match, you can block the enemy by placing a glue wall. Next, the other teammates can rush the enemy from the other side. Strategy number 2. You can check whether there is an enemy camping near the staircase by aiming from these windows. If there is an enemy hiding there, you can easily attack them by using this trick. But sometimes, enemies could hide a little bit far away from this place. So to get into the house, you will have to either eliminate or chase those enemies. To do that, you can use grenades. Throwing grenades into the enemy can also break down the enemy's confidence. Once you throw grenades you can quickly get through the staircase and attack the enemy. You can also place landmines on the ground. If the enemy panics and jumps out of the house when you throw grenades, there's a chance that the enemy might land on those landmines. Your own confidence also plays a huge role when rushing. If you don't have enough confidence, you might panic. And when you panic, it could get hard for you to think your next step in the fight. So try to stay calm and be confident. Strategy number 3. To do this, ask a teammate to distract the enemy. While your teammate distracts your enemy, you can place two glue walls like this. Next, you and your squad can climb the glue walls and go inside the house and do a surprise attack on the enemy. Now I'll tell you guys a very useful trick that most pro players do before rushing and next I will tell you guys two big mistakes that players do when rushing. So guys the trick is to weaken the enemy before rushing. For example when the sniper in your squad attacks the enemies from long range it will be easy for the rusher or the rushers to take down those enemies. Now let's talk about the two big mistakes that players do when rushing. Mistake number one rushing alone. It's very important to rush with your squad when you're playing squad games. In tournaments and high rank matches, you face very competitive and experienced players. If at least one of you gets knocked down, the opponent team will have a higher advantage in the fight. Most pro squads have two rushes in the squad, so it's very important that these two rushes have a good coordination. Mistake number 2. Mountains can both be an advantage and a disadvantage when rushing. If you climb mountains like this in a straight path upwards, it will be easy for your enemy to headshot you. But sometimes, mountains can also be used as a good defense. If you don't want to waste much glue walls, you can use the mountains to your advantage. And guys, always try to rush to the safe. Route, but as I said earlier, always make a great plan before rushing. 